Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is my what's in my Ipsy bag for March. Um, I got my Ipsy bag um, around the 14th or 15th. So I thought I would share what I got that for this month. Um, so I will get started. They sent the little, cute little card. I love her hair color. It's so pretty. Um, same info, nothing but like how to get more products or win products or things like that. Um, so this is my bag. I got the coral and I think it's mint green detail on it. Very, very pretty. Very spring-like. I'm so glad it's springtime. I just wish the temperature would stay the springtime temperatures for the summer too. Um, the first item is Be A Bombshell. It's a baked bronzer in the color Heat Wave. This is their little packaging. It has a little coupon on the top. Um, for Be A Bombshell Cosmetics and it expires April 30th so I'm pretty sure anyone that got one of these um, the coupon was on theirs as well. And inside, we can get it out, is a cute little bronzer. This is, I believe, is a full size. It looks like a full size to me. And it's just a light caramel uh, color. Um, I think it would show up better on someone with nice tan skin or um, dark skin because it's very, very pretty. And it does look very pigmented. But it doesn't show up on my hand. You can barely see it. Uh, right there. Um, so I think I'll probably use mine. If I do a highlight here, it might go there, or I might do it, use it as an eyeshadow. So that was my first one. I don't usually use bronzers and stuff like that. Just because I have, I just, feels like I'm putting too much stuff on I don't really need on my face. And then I see people that contour and their stuff looks amazing on them, but I feel like I'm just going to make myself look funny. So I don't attempt it. <laughs> the next product is by NYX and it's the Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. And this is the color Pink Lust. And it's very pretty, but it's a very, it seems like it's brighter on than in the tube. I swatched it on my hand when I first got it because I don't normally wear pinks like this. Sorry about my dry hands. I've been washing dishes and forgot to put lotion on. <coughs> but. It's very, very pretty, but I just can't wear bright pinks like that, so I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. I might get it to my friend, because she loves the bright pinks and purpley pinks, and they look really good on her. So I'm still trying to decide. And then my next, I think it, that was supposed to be a matte. I'm not sure if they're matte or not. I'm going to have to look it up, because they can't remember and if it is supposed to be a matte it didn't dry matte when I first swatched it when I got it it seemed like it stayed sticky forever and never really dried and I don't like that so I'll let you know um, and if you do use it you'll you can let me know if it's a matte or not um, my next product is an eyeliner um, it's by Star Looks and it's in the color Jet and it's just a black retractable, it's supposed to be long wearing uh, liner. It's very creamy when it goes on so it kind of worries me that even though it says it's long wearing that it's going to end up in my crease later on so 
I think I might use it just to under the eye or under my lower lash line and smudge it out so that I don't have to deal with later on in the day I have liner in my crease. That drives me insane. That's why I go with um, the gel liners do that every once in a while. I think it depends on how much you put on. But um, I the liner pen that I got in, I forget what it what Ipsy bag I got it in, but I love it to death and I will repurchase that one when I run out. I just can't remember the name of it. I'll post all the info at the bottom. I'm really bad with that. I said I was going to do that with my um, winter favorites project products that I shared and forgot to list everything after I posted my video so I'll go back and post everything I got in my Ipsy bags and stuff on my videos so that if you go back and watch them that they're there. Um, my last, oh no, got two more. This one and one other one. The next product is by Mark Anthony. It's the Nourishing Argon Oil of Morocco. It's a three day smooth uh, smoothing cream and it's infused with keratin and keratin is good if you color your hair or if you're a platinum blonde like me. It smells really good and it's not greasy feeling at all. It just it goes straight into my fingers which is nice. It means when it goes on my hair I'm not gonna feel like I have a ton of stuff on my hair. So I will when I use this I will let you know in my next Ipsy bag for April how I liked this. So far all my hair products that I've gotten from Ipsy I've really liked especially my the, this one is from last month, the My Amazing Leave-In Secret. This stuff is really light. It sprays really nice. It doesn't get heavy after I... Because I spray more than what it says to spray on your hair. I do more just because sprays, I always worry that I'm spraying away from the back. Oh, we got a hair. <laughs> And my ends tend to be really dry and since I cut my hair I'm not having any problems with frizziness. So I'm guessing all the hair that got cut off was truly dead and just needed to go. Because I only used my generic potion 9 and this when I washed my hair. I think I washed it on Saturday. I can't remember. Um, and I only use those two products and then I let it air dry and I went to work all day before setting my hair and it wasn't heavy, it smells really nice, um, It was and my hair was super shiny. Um, it's not shiny as much at, right now because I have mousse and um, hairspray on it so like I think it tends to make your hair look dull sometimes. But I needed to hold my curl. <laughs> but I really love this stuff and when I run out I'm going to um, purchase the full size. I will also put this product down below. Um, and my last little item from Ipsy is another makeup brush. I really enjoy getting the makeup brushes because I do use them and if I haven't had a chance to clean them um, I have extras. <laughs> Um, and so far what they've been sending me are really nice brushes that I've used. This one's really soft and it's a nice eyebrow brush. And it's a nice little tapered brush. You could probably use it for your liner as well. Um, this one's by Bo Gash. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know if you can see the name there. Um, but I look forward to using this and I will let you know. You could probably use it as a lip liner too, but I think it's going to be more for your brows and maybe your, your liner. And that is it for my Ipsy bag for March. Um, if you get the Ipsy bag, let me know what you got in yours and what products you liked about yours and didn't like. Um, this one was okay um, it's not as boring as the other ones that I've received where I got skincare stuff which I get sick of the skincare ones but I'm 
enjoying the hair products a lot. And my Ipsy bags seem to be getting a little bit better. I'm just disappointed about the NYX products. I feel like, um, yeah, it's still not completely dry. It's still really sticky feeling. So I don't know about that lipstick. <laughs> Um, but the color is pretty, um, so hopefully I'll continue to get colors that I like and products that I like. I've been trying to review on Ipsy once I get my bag and I've tried the items. I try to do my reviews now so that I get better things. And it seems to be helping a little bit. Um, I know some people, I don't, I'm wondering, I don't know if they check your reviews very much, but I think it helps a little bit or maybe just going back and redoing the survey on your skin type and products that you like because sometimes after a while you get bored with products that you use and then you need to change them. Maybe you stop liking um, nude colors and started liking the more coral pink colors. Like maybe in the springtime switch up your survey. I don't know. I'm going to try it and see what happens, I think. Maybe switch my survey and see what colors might show up. <laughs> I don't know. Um, today I had the day off because I worked from 9 to 8 last night at work and it was crazy insane and I've been there five years since the doors open and I'm getting burnt out and because I live so far from where I work it's the drive's just killing me and the gas and everything like that and put mileage on my husband's car. We have an HHR and um, it didn't have a lot of miles on it when we got it but since I've taken it and taken it to work every day I've put a lot of miles on it and now we're going to trade it in and I'm going to trade my van in um, for something. And he wants to trade in the HHR, which we, I named Ruby Lou. <laughs> I'm one of them people that named her cars. I've always been like that. I don't know why and how that started, but anyway, he wants to get rid of her. And I sort of feel bad because I'm the one that wanted her for a long time. But it's his car and he plays the stand-up bass and trying to fit. Sometimes he, she doesn't fit his base very good and he has to angle it and so he wants a Dodge Journey <laughs> and I'm like okay that's fine but I feel bad about the car and I want a Mini Cooper so I'm trying to decide but anyway back to my job hunting there's a place I really want to work and it's still in the beauty business and I think I'd be a better fit there and just be able to be more of who I am and not into the corporate retail places where you have to wear certain colors all the time. Like where I work now, they've just, I'm a supervisor there so we can now dress like management where you can wear nice shirts and black pants and be professional. Where before I had to wear red shirts and black pants and it just I ended up with so many red shirts I was going crazy. So now I'm trying to find something closer to home that's going to be easier um, on the cars and just making me more happier professionally and where I have more to give my job than just showing up, clocking in, doing what I do every day and then feeling like I haven't accomplished anything within the day that I've worked because I feel like I'm on a repetitive cycle at work. And I think it's like that in all retail places. You only can do so much, but I feel like my creativity is taking a nosedive. And I just, it makes me feel bad. And the only thing I hate about job hunting is the interviewing because I'm a quiet person. And it, because I've been where I've been for five years, it's going to be hard starting completely over somewhere new and meeting new people and then um, talking to somebody about myself that I've never met wondering if they're gonna like me or not all them things that go through your head when you're looking for a new job and things like that so 
fingers crossed and good vibes from everybody that I get this one that I'm um, after. And the hours are perfect. And with my son, he, he's going to be driving soon. But in case he doesn't get it as soon as he wants and he starts next school year with sports, I'm not all the way 45 minutes away need help picking him up and all that mess so fingers crossed I get this one um, so that's what I've been up to today I hope everyone had a nice weekend and I will see you next time thanks for watching bye